welcome back to Skyrim. Okay, so last time we killed Lane de Font and the other woman, what was her name, Nilsine Shattershield, quite successfully. Very proud of my work. And now we need to head back to Markarth and ask Muri for some money, because she owes us quite a bit now, I believe. So what I'm going to do is head back down to Windhelm and take the cart, because there's no way I am going to be... Oh no. Brilliant. Run. Yeah, I'm not walking all the way there in the cold. I'll more than likely freeze. I'm already freezing, actually. Well, not really. But almost. Won't be long. Oh god. Why are there always massive packs of bears and wolves always after me? They're all racist. It's just the way it works in Skyrim. Everyone hates Dark Elves. Everyone. Such a shame. I have blood all over me. Dear. This is where I killed the uh, guy at the beginning, I remember now. It was up there. Yeah. Crazy. Um, oh yeah, I did install a mod, I think. Installed immersive first person. Only problem is for videos, it is way, way too distracting. Um, it goes absolutely crazy, so I'm just going to leave it out for now, but I might try and tweak it and maybe I can use it. But the head just bobs like nuts and you can see the arms and everything, and it's very good. These guys attacked me here last time. Back for more, are we? You run very strangely. Really? Come on. Arrow straight to the head and you didn't die. Where's the other guy? Throwing spears at me again. Making me waste my arrows, that's what I'm more annoyed about. Not that I'm... Well, maybe I can shoot spears back at them next time. You have nothing on you. Brilliant. What about you? An arrow and a ball. Fantastic. Okay. No, you're not going to attack me now as well, are you? No, good. There we are. There's the carriage. And there's a wind helm. Let's just get going as soon as possible. Don't want to stay here any longer. Better not have any more contracts over here. I'm sick of the place. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to Markov. Climb and back, and we'll be off. If you don't mind a piece of advice, stay out of trouble in Markov. Toss you in the city of mine and you'll never get out. Sounds fun. Here we are. Oh, it's a bit nicer here now than it was when I was here last time. I guess it was night time when I was here before though. Which kinda makes sense. Very bright. Let's get back inside. If I remember correctly, she was just in the inn. So I should probably just go back into there. Straight into the inn. Reforming the dawn God. Take a drink. Vampire. And hopefully she'll be in here this time. Still. Waiting. This is Markov. The silver blood in has been in the wrong region. Oh. Who are you? This better be good. All right then. Well, she's not in here then. Thought she'd be in here. Paid for a room here and everything. Friend, you are 
Okay, I'm guessing she's in her shop. Mind you, it is an alchemy place. I could uh, stop there and see if I can get anything. Ah, oh, that was it. Yep. Hag's cure. Cool. Well, what news? Huh. Is Elaine? Yes. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. Okay. And I heard about Nelsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. Okay, what have you given me? A ring and 600 gold. What does the ring do? Potions of poison you mix. Oh! Okay, that's pretty good actually. Well, I gotta say, thanks. Do you want to apply uh, borrow some ingredients too? You didn't seem to mind now, which is nice. Othella. The hag's cure is here for all your discreet needs. Oh. Sounds interesting. Do you perhaps uh, make extremely, extremely powerful poisons? You do have a lot of ingredients that you're allowing me to take, though. Which is always nice. Not allowed to take your poisons, though, which is a shame. Buy some off you now, I think. And do some alchemy. Agraven claws? I don't think I've got any of these ingredients. Is that in there? Juniper berries. Take them. Herbalist Sky to Skyrim. Awesome. Alchemy level up. Just what I want. Rosella, I have a question. You want to know a secret of mine, young girl? The most effective poison to kill a man? A potion to make others fall in love, perhaps? I was actually just wondering if you... And if I just, family. uh... Oh, thank you. Oh, I see. Thank you again oh. for resolving Whoops, my sorry. Problem. Just trying to take it's all this I'm stuff. I'm with you around. Oh, would you get out of the way, please? I'm sorry. You don't have to tell me if you don't. I have one, a nephew. He's in prison for being a member of the Force War. Hello. I have potions for disease, love sickness. Take a look. Do you have poisons? Extremely bad. No, yes you do. Okay, I'm just going to buy them all. I don't really care about the money. I've got plenty. May as well spend it. Awesome. Now another thing. Do you have wheat? Oh, I can probably get wheat myself, actually. Um, what else is it to make health potions? I forget. Uh, ah, yeah, blister wart. There is no blister wart here. Okay. Now, you now there's the table. Let's start making some stuff. Damage health. Perfect. Your is a of the art. Uh, resist fire. I've got loads of those. This magic, on the other hand, could be very useful. Ah, there we go. Restore health. Ravage magicka. Sounds good. Okay, now I've got a lot of stuff to mess around with. Oh, come on. Give me something. Uh, damage magicka. That's good. By conjuration, no thanks. I might take that perk that lets you uh, eat an alchemical ingredient and it tells you the first two properties of it. Can I make anything out of this stuff? Oh, there's the three mountain flowers, you can't do anything with this. Okay. Awesome. Pretty well stocked now, then. Very well stocked. Goodness me. I have to start using these a lot more often. To favourite them all too. Right, let's head back to the sanctuary then. Mm, I don't know if I can I take a car to Falkreath or not. I'd rather do that. I don't want to walk the full way again. Yeah, I'll do that. 
Make more sense. It's nice. So this shop here. Let's have a quick look. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's just the market travel. We should get back to work. Hang on, wasn't that like two days ago? I'm here to look around your shop. You don't seem to have much though. Lisbeth handles the customers. I just check the shipments. You really don't have much, do you? It's a book there. Arm Leaf and Sons Trading Company. Buys and sets anything you wandering types need. Ah. Oh, I've already read this, didn't I? I found that on the road. Arm Leaf and Sons Trading Company. Buys I know, you just said that, okay. No, I'm not Arm Leaf. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Um. Resist magic. That is a lot of money, though. I'm not paying that. I'll throw money away, but I won't throw that much money away. That's just ridiculous. No longbow. Got a rubbish poison. Okay, let's just sell you a lot of stuff. Ah, like that. There we go. Made a bit of money back there. Back Alright, let's get out of here before anyone is suspicious of anything. I mean, I don't exactly look the type to uh, just pop into a town and honestly walk around and not cause any trouble. Let's see those stormcocks try to break into this. Okay. We are okay. So and now I'm gonna take the carriage to Falkreath. I know a lot of jumping around. I apologise. Traveling. Where do you want to go? But it would just be travelling down oh, yeah. roads I've already been to multiple times. Hello. Get up there. Oh, I'm a bit hungry apparently. I'll be more hungry when I arrive. What a lovely day it is. Raining. Let's take the horse over there. I can sleep there now as well. It's very, very, very late. Here we go. Mm. Takes me this nightshade, this is good for health poisons. Here we are, sanctuary. Wonder what I'll have to do next. Okay. There you are, hello. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? Pretty a bit pretty more good. Exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager. Well, I failed the other ones. I'd rather not talk Very about well. it. I respect your discretion. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. Something wrong? It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. Well, I think it hasn't been since I he's arrived. He's, he's, mad, he's been like that the whole time. That. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. It sounds terrifying. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. So you understand my fear. If Cicero's planning something and conspiring with one of our own, it would be disastrous. What do you want me to do? Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll Easy. be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. 
Let me guess. Like my mother's coffin. Of <laughs> course. Perfect. They'll never think to check it. Who in their right mind would hide inside? Now go before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Will do. Um, I just realised as well. I don't have subtitles on. Well, I do, but not general. There we go. For some reason I unchecked that on accident. Okay, Hide let's go. Where is the coffin? Is it through here? Ah, it's locked. Um, what about here? Okay, that's the hall, so it's in. Ah, oh, there we go. It's in here. Yep. Awesome. Let's lock it quick. Unlock it rather. Oh come on, it's a novice. There we are. Thank you. Oh, hi. Not looking good, are you? All right, whatever. Um, hello? Are we alone? Ah. Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. Oh dear. Others, I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. Mm. What about you? Have you... Have you spoken Oh, apparently I'm wet. I guess I did go swimming. No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. This guy is just nuts. He's totally crazy. Obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? I'm won't pretty you? sure he's talking to himself. Sweet oh. night, mother. Maybe not. Oh, Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a oh. humble servant. She's talking to me. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not. She's quite quiet. Oh, but how can I defend you? I remember her being extremely I'm loud previously. If you will not speak ah, it must be that mod. Anyone. It's quiet. Oh, made her quieter. Speak to you, for you are the one. Oh, yes, you, me, you who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones. Ooh. I give you this task journey to one. Could you speak up a bit? I can't really hear you very well. Okay. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises. Darkness rises when silence dies. Uh oh. What treachery! Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Um. Speak, worm! Oi, don't be a worm. The Night Mother spoke to me. She spoke to you? What treachery! More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! I am the listener. And there is no 
Calm down. She said, tell you don't, Miss Rosemont, to this place. She yes. Said those words. Yes. To you. Yes. Darkness rises when silence dies. Yes. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. Signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Well, there you have it. And it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, now I'm the listener. Can this guy die? Because he still annoys me. By Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no. She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? Who are talking here? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You look like you've just seen a ghost. Please tell me you haven't. Cicero said he spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Sadly. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? Yeah, it's and pretty the creepy. Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yep. By Sithis. And? What did she say? She wanted to find this guy. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrude. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. Oh goody. Should I go there and talk to this man? Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are I can agree on that. that? Yep, yep. The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. Okay. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. I'd like to do some work. Killing people is great fun. Oh, you are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> okay, let's just get out of here. Are you excited? Oh, you should be. I'm really not excited. But I'm excited to get these contracts anyway, and I didn't pick any of this stuff up. It's quite useful. Okay, so Nazir is in that the banquet hall. It's a bit dark. Okay, it's down here. Hello, good man. So many contracts, so little time. Oh, good. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Yeah. Your first target is an orc bard named Lerbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. No problem. Happy hunting. Okay. You've got Where are they? They're nowhere. Well to kill my best. Okay, here we go. Oh Half Moon Mill. Remember that place? That's not far from here at all. The other one's over here. Oh god. Morthal. Right. Get to it. Yeah, good idea. I think I'll be sleeping first, though, up here. Because, I'm pretty sure it's, qu yeah, quite late. 
Is there anything in here I need? Let's get out of here and let's head back up to this mill. Oh, that was the place with the termites. It really confused me. Right. Cool. See you guys later. Here we go. Oh, it's raining. Great. Pretty sure I left my horse up here. There you are. Let's get going. Wayfaring increased. Very nice. Oh, level up. Fantastic. Wrong button. Here we go. Okay. Health, definitely. Perks, though, I'm not so sure. I have 50 in sneak. Noise from armor is reduced. I don't, I don't use armor, though. So, but what else do I get if I take that? Sneak attacks turn to completely ignore target's armor. Oh, that's pretty good. That's the one I want, Silent Roll, so I do need to take this perk. And then I can take Silent Roll, which is one of my favorite perks. I'm very close to this one place. I didn't even know there's a vampire living there. It's crazy. Here we are. Pretty sure it's up there. Let's just leave the horse by here. And then go do it. And jump back on. This is in the middle of nowhere again, so it should be quite easy. Oh, a bit of stutter. Okay, here we are. We wanna. Where exactly is she? Oh, right next to me. Of course, she must be working on the mill. Easy target then. Let's get on top of here. Make things a bit easier. There we go. Okay. Right there. Oh! There's two people. So she's the one there. Is that a she or a he? Put her was a woman's name. Come on. Brilliant. Where have you gone? You won't leave here alive. I'm pretty sure I will. For a start, you can't even seem to get up here. Is that you down there? doesn't really matter, I don't think I have to do this kill stealthily. Because they, uh... I'm over here, mate! <laughs> Can you not see me? Really? I'm outmatched. What, one against two? That's outmatched. When this guy doesn't even seem to realise that... He can run away. Done. I guess I'm gonna have to kill you as well. Otherwise, I'll get arrested. Hurt. Hurt on him. Nope. I'm not letting you escape. That's what's gonna have to happen, I'm afraid. 
should have ran away and forgot about it really, shouldn't you? Ah, right, key to their house, I'll rob them. Where's the other guy? Look at all this lovely food they have. Very nice. Let's get some free stuff then. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for that to gone better. <laughs> 